In this presentation, we will demonstrate an analysis using Surveyor Attenuated Total Reflection Spectroscopy. In this case, the Surveyor is interfaced to a Perkin-Elmer Spectrum II FTIR spectrometer. In this example, we're going to be using a diamond ATR sample analysis method. A unique feature of Surveyor is the ability to observe specimens through the diamond internal reflection element and also observe contact with the sample. Attenuated total reflection spectroscopy is a contact method which provides ease of use and simplicity in the measurement. Samples can be identified through searching of library spectra as with other infrared spectroscopic methods. Another unique feature of Surveyor that works very nicely with Diamond ATR is the oblique illumination. Oblique illumination provides excellent contrast for scattering samples such as this paint chip that we view on the left or sucrose crystals as viewed on the right. We'll now demonstrate a sample analysis using Surveyor with Spectrum 2. In this case, we'll analyze a particulate contaminant isolated from an injectable drug solution. Small particles, barely visible to the human eye, were filtered from the solution and measured directly on filter paper. We used the view through diamond ATR in this analysis. The filter paper sample was mounted on a low E glass slide and placed on surveyor. The sample is focused and positioned viewing through the diamond ATR. Sample spectrum preview is selected in spectrum software. We are now ready to record the spectrum of the sample by making contact with the diamond ATR crystal. We select transmitted light illumination to better view contact with the crystal. Then we adjust the stage focus to contact the diamond ATR element. Using preview scan, we monitor the degree of contact by the infrared band depth. We continue to apply force to the sample while monitoring the contact using eSpot video microscopy software. A pressure readout progress bar is displayed in the upper right hand corner of eSpot software, letting you know when optimum pressure is obtained. When maximum infrared band depths are observed, we're ready to collect the spectrum of the sample. Due to surveyor's optical design and the utilization of an instrument mounted detector, we're able to access the full spectral range. The material was identified as polydimethyl siloxane, or PDMS, with high confidence through searching spectra of known materials. PDMS is a common septa or gasket material which contaminated the injectable drug.